as you can see there's a big gap look at that washing machine line that is ridiculous Hey, what's up guys? Just want to show you a job I'm working on. So this house had some uh, stoppage issues to say the least. The washing machine in the kitchen kept stopping up and overflowing. Um, we came out, ran a snake through it, came out and jetted the line. Jetter got stuck. Uh, we were able to get it out and clean the line but um, we definitely needed to get a camera in there and check out what was going on and there was no way to get a camera in the line um, we couldn't make the turn over at the kitchen to get down into the main line over here um, and we couldn't make it through the old cast iron p-trap for this washing machine so the homeowner decided to bust a hole right here originally and we cut the pipe open and uh, found out that the bottom was out and the bottom looked like this so we had to start digging it up and replacing it and when we did, we found that the old cast iron was actually ran through the beam. Right up in that area right there. And through this beam right here. So, what we did was we excavated starting here and we went up under the beams which caused us to have to lower the drain line so the homeowner jackhammered up the floor and excavated most of it out not quite all of it so I came in and re-ran their new line we got a beam here too the old cast iron pipe was actually good here um, it wasn't rotted out at the bottom it had the channel rot like we call it um, but uh, when it went under the beam it was actually good so this one wasn't too bad but we had to do quite a bit of digging in here and in the kitchen living room area so go off into this room and this is where the sewer line actually turns and goes out of the house and so 
Today I'm going to finish plumbing this line, head it out of the house, and then outside of the house, we've done a little bit of digging. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit. So what we had to do here was we had to dig out into the yard and uh, get fall. We ran a camera through the line and got our depths coming out of the house, out into the yard. And once we did, we um, did a little bit of math and found out that we needed to, we had about 50, 50 feet of pipe and we had to figure out how many inches of fall we needed basically it took us out to this point out in the yard <clears throat> about two feet eight two feet nine deep so we dug out to this point and uh, got everything tied in and we just got our inspection so we're about to turn this pitch. Everything is concreted. The cat's happy. All good. 